ChatGPT Canvas has got to be one of the most useful features in ChatGPT for teachers. A lot of teachers don't know how it works and so I'm going to quickly take you through the concept and then show you an example where I build a canvas for you. This is super simple. The example that I'm going to use is in language teaching because I teach languages. That's my speciality. But this would apply literally to anyone in education. In fact, this is really useful for many things also outside of education, as you'll see. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it please share it, please comment on it. And of course, most of all, join me on my YouTube channel. And don't forget, when you like, give me a few hype points. Let's get started. When we work with these large language models, we can generate some content and then we might say, oh, can you add a comprehension question? And you might say, oh, can you add some true or false questions? And then you might say, for example, oh, can you do a gap fill? But it will all be separate. Well, with a canvas, what you actually do is you set up a canvas and then you say to ChatGPT, can you write for me a text and it will do that and you say now can you add to the same canvas some comprehension questions and it will go back and do that so it's always painting into the same canvas and that means at the end you've got a lovely canvas one whole document immediately ready to print out and so the whole idea behind canvas is that it saves us all this copy and pasting and it means that it's all formatted and ready in one place now the incredible thing is that you can add lots of things into this document and you can even say well actually can you add this above this or below this so it's not that it's even going to keep adding everything underneath you could say for example oh I've forgotten I want 10 vocabulary sentences or 10 keywords highlighted before we read the text and it will add those to the top of the text let me show you this in action it's very powerful and you can obviously see why this would be so useful in language teaching or in any area of education really and you can even add things like links to videos etc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on new chat okay and then when i click on new chat and open up a new chat i'm going to click here on plus come down to more and the one that I'm looking for is canvas now all you need to do now is start to give the instructions to whatever it is that you want to create so I'm going to create a reading comprehension or a text first and then we're going to generate some content underneath it you can either write your instructions by just clicking here or you can actually these days use audio to give your instructions. so I'm going to dictate and you should be able to do this in multiple languages. I'm gonna to speak to it in English, but you should be able to speak it in the other main languages as well. So you can just click here. Can you produce for me a text for students of level B1? So intermediate level of English, learning English. I'd like a text about the benefits of eating honey and why honey is so good for you can you limit it to about 500 words click on the tick and that kind of says that you know i'm happy and then i'm going to send that and now off it's going to go so what i've done first is simply get chat gpt to write me a text i've not asked for anything else okay so we've got a 500 word text there. Now, I want to add to that. What I'm going to ask for now is for it to extract from the text 10 of the most important words that I would need to study to read this text well. So watch this and watch how I can actually even dictate where in the canvas I want these words added. Can you add 10 words at the top of the text, above the text, that my students could study before reading the text. And can you provide those words for me in a two-table, two-column table, so that my students can see the words in English and the translation into Spanish, because my students are Spanish students learning English. And can you do that above the text? click on here now this is the trick so you can actually even dictate where in the text you want that now what it's going to do is going to reproduce the canvas now a second time but with the words above the 
uh, reading so that the students can first of all check the vocabulary and then read the text let's see if it works so now it's going to repaint see for me the whole of the canvas with the vocabulary at the top and now i've got underneath my text now i'm going to ask for now some comprehension questions to go underneath so i'm going to click here again can you add some comprehension questions eight comprehension questions to go under the text to check my students understanding of the text click and again off it goes now of course it's important to remember i'm going to send that now that we do need to go through and edit this and notice you can edit absolutely everything in a canvas so we're just waiting now for it to produce this new canvas off it goes and it's going to come through with the text and notice in this example there it goes we've got the comprehension questions now adding underneath now i really like the way it formats everything for me as well okay so remember i can download this now what a lot of teachers don't realize is you can take this even further now hopefully you're getting the concept already and i'm going to show you a few more features because you can add links to content etc but one thing if you're a language teacher i've also done quite a detailed video about using chat gpt for language learning and particularly for developing your language skills and i'll put that on the screen if you want to watch that now don't forget to like this video let's go back then and look at a few more details but hopefully now you at least understand the basic concept so for example, we could get it to add a video uh, from YouTube. So if I click here and say, can you find me a useful video about honey production on YouTube that my students might be able to watch and that would go along well with the text? Click the tick button to just upload the, the text and then send the text and hopefully now it's going to actually add that as well a youtube video into now i didn't actually ask it and i did this on purpose not to add it into the canvas i'm going to write now can you add that to the bottom of the canvas because this is the important thing you do need to keep telling chat gpt where you want that content to be added so now what it's going to do it's going to add that now to the canvas so i've made this mistake many of time where i've forgotten to tell it i want the content to be added to the canvas that i'm building otherwise it will on, often end up starting another canvas and that's not what you want you really want it to be part of the whole of the production and look how this whole thing now is building up and you can go on and on add into it often you get suggestions as well look at this It's absolutely fantastic the way it builds up and it includes uh, videos now let's look at actually downloading this so i'm going to click on download here okay and i'm going to go for pdf document because often pdf documents look more tidy it does depend words great if you want to do additional editing now we've got here our text or our vocabulary we've got here our text we've got here our comprehension questions and we've got a video that students can access now I have to say always check these videos because occasionally it has recommended videos that when I've gone onto YouTube they're no longer available so it is worth checking that the contents there and of course now you could print this out okay i hope that was useful and if it was please click on the like button i just want to point out i'm using the free version of chat gpt and i suppose there is a limit to the number of canvases that i can produce it's never actually told me to stop but i presume there is a limit if you pay for chat gpt i'm sure that you get a lot more um i'm gonna leave one final video on the screen my favorite technology at the moment is called ed cafe it's amazing it produces amazing reading comprehension activities but it also produces brilliant quizzes around youtube videos i've never seen anything as professional and i'm going to leave a link to that video on the screen and thank you very much so if you were interested in studying a bit more with me then obviously the first thing you could do is sign up to the newsletter and don't forget if you sign up to the newsletter you'll get that free mini 14 part course which highlights some of the key technologies that teachers and students are using to learn and study languages 
Um, the second thing you can do, particularly if you're a teacher, is to join me on Patreon. Now, if you join me on Patreon, you will get three videos a month, and these videos are exclusive to Patreon. I often cover technologies that I don't even cover on YouTube. These are really for teachers, and there are lots of practical ideas about using technology in your teaching and learning. But not only that, you'll actually meet me once a month live online and it's a chance for us to actually practice using some of these technologies. Now, if you can't make the live sessions, of course, I record them for all my Patreons. Now, at the moment, there's a special offer as well. If you join Patreon, which is only $6 a month, and you can leave at any time, you will also get access to all of the videos that I've already put up on Patreon, which is two years worth of content. The last thing that you can think of doing is joining me on my very popular course, which is called Technologies and Approaches to Blended Hybrid and Teaching Online. It's very popular. I do that in conjunction with Nile. That's a six week course that includes six meetings with me online, as well as uh, lots of material that you have to work through and you have to build an e-portfolio. It's one of the most successful courses I've ever run. And again, that is exclusive for language teachers. Uh, you can click on the link below and get more information about that. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave some videos on the screen now and some useful playlists that you might find helpful.